Hello everyone, I'm Kirk Stevens and welcome to Campfire Tales. Today campers, we're telling the tale of a new run of Dead World. This will be attempt number five and um, let's go ahead and we'll get it started here. Dead World Code. This will also be in the description if you want to try this yourself. Basically turns everything into uh, very uh, wicked crazy. Not impossible, but just wicked crazy. And of course we are in Lower Great Bear. And we will do random, of course. We will play Astrid. And no feats. Dead World 5. So those of you who have been keeping up with uh, watching Dead World through um, all the different episodes, um, Dead World attempt number four, part number five, was recorded and it had a lot of things that happened. There was, um, there was a lot of things that happened during that recording that I felt that if I continued that run after the video uh, issues that I had, um, where I had two recordings, both Dead World, um, Chapter 5, and I also lost a, an episode of Heliophobia. Um, I'll go into the Heliophobia one when we uh, broadcast that one on Friday, but the Dead World one was such that so much happened during that recording that once I found out it was corrupted, I pretty much, I just figured I had to call it. Um, it would have been just, uh, I think it would have been unfair to everybody, um, to try to pick that one up too much happened. And so we're just going to pretend that Astrid, uh, she essentially got to the fishing huts there on the east side of coastal highway and she died in her sleep. And so we lost episode, uh, we lost an episode four of attempt number four. So let's uh let's get Dead World Five running. Let's find out where we're at. Humble Tracker, here this one's for you. Channeling, there are no bears, there are no wolves, there's nothing to kill us but the cold. Okay. So where are we at? We are in Pleasant Valley. This is a very favorable spawn. So let's Figure out where we're at. Of course, the weather is beautiful as always. Let's go ahead and do a little... Whoa! Let's do a little falling off the mountain almost. There's a rock. My hope is, is that we won't take too much cold damage. Especially if I can get my bearings here. I still don't know exactly where I'm at. I have a guess, but I don't know if I'm going to be right. Okay, 
Well, this is the roadway. I still don't know exactly where I am on the roadway. So if I can find a building or something. Three strikes. Okay, here we go. Now we kind of have an idea where we're at. Probably should have just stuck to the roadway. Just me trying to find that little barn that's over here is probably going to be ridiculously hard. Especially in the current weather. still 100%. I, I know where I'm at, but I don't know where I'm at. I don't know. I got offside there. You would think the bridge would help. Hmm. I'm not complaining about being on the river, though. I mean, it is giving me cattails a little bit, so I'm not going to complain. I would just need to get out of the cold here before we lose too much health. Dig up the burdock. Should be way less lost than I actually am. Three strikes should have given me a clue. I mean, I have a clue where that's at on the map, but then once I got away from the road and got into the river, I don't know in which direction I headed. So the only real reason to stay here is to keep gathering these cattails because this gives us the one thing that we have the least of, and that is food. So I'm not going to complain. We're going to gather resources up. And this is my first clue in as to where we're at. But I'm going to gather these up. Teas are important. Let's take a quick peek here. 
Go ahead and take that. All right. Got my bearings now. We're going to head to the farmhouse. If we weren't already so cold and it wasn't so stormy, I would head to the plane crash to try to find some warm clothing. But right now we need to get inside so we don't get frostbite. And we need to wait for better weather. Got frostbite. Was hoping to avoid that, but we just were out here too long. Come on. We're almost there, Astrid. We can make it. There it is. Well, that was one good sign. There is a deer carcass we can grab when we get a chance. All right, get inside. No more frostbite. Come on. Please be warm. No. Not warm. Darn it. All right, let's get up here. See if it's warm in the house. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is what I was worried about getting these. So let's get these down. Good gracious. It's so noisy in here. Okay. Here we go. This. I'm going to put right there. That right there. Get that out of the way. Don't worry about that in a minute. Oh, can opener is always awesome. I see maple syrup. This might be good. We get leveled up in the cooking department. There. Pot. Also awesome. Other than the frostbite, I am very pleased with where we spawned. I knew it was going to be a pain just to... Um, to get our bearings, that was going to be the big one, but um, I should have gotten a better grasp of it with um, three strikes, but I'm not complaining. We've got, um, oh, look at that, frying pan too. Perfect. Now we'll hopefully we can cook bannock and other goodies. So the one thing that it really hurt me with... Uh, Desolation Point in that was not finding food and water right away. There we go. Sewing kit, that's great. Now we can make uh, gloves. If we could just find a source of fire. Anything up here? Salt down here? Yep. Don't know that we're gonna be able to do much with that, but we'll put it over here. Did we get everything over here? Did I check all of this? I know sometimes there's stuff hiding back there. Okay. Ooh. 
That is a wonderful find. Especially this early on. Okay, so were we coming back from like dinner? Take the book. We're going to use that for fire if we can get one started. Cooking. I'm just going to put this over here for right now. See anything floating around? Take one, I'll leave the other two over here. Another always available. That's good. That's also more clothing is better than nothing. Clothing always seems to be the nemesis. See anything? All right. Upstairs. What are we going to find? Oh, look at this. We found gloves, too. I was all thinking I was going to have to make clothing to cover everything and. There we go. Not the best, but everything's covered. That's that's good. Plus, we still have the plane crash if we can get to that without too much incident. Because right now, the thing I want to protect more than anything is the health. If anything I've learned in the last runs is that it, I tend to use the health as a means to get from point A to point B and pay the price for it because you never can heal up. So we've got a really good start. We've got water and we've got some food thanks to our little walk there and that. So, and we can make food possibly. And we also know there's a deer outside. So we have at least one hide. And we have, hopefully, a little bit of food out there, too. Boy, the TLG gods are being very kind to me right now. They must have felt sorry for my, uh, my video loss. But we're off to a really good start. The only thing that really bothers me is I wish we wouldn't have gotten the uh, the frostbite. But really, you know, it's hard to stay healed in this game uh, on this setting at all. I mean, it, it's just brutal to, to heal up. You can do a little healing. And I'm hoping we will heal some while we're here. But I also don't want to sit, stay put too long. Because I kind of want to go up to Signal Hill. Oh my. Fortune favors the foolish. Okay. Got no more complaints. Not even complaining about the frostbite anymore. I mean, 
That's crazy. We've already got a six per, six degree bonus, and all we would need is a is a little bit more clothing, and we'd and we'd be rocking it. Some better shoes, maybe another pair of socks. Okay, it's starting to get late. So, all right, I think we've gotten everything. The only thing we don't have is fire. Don't have any fire yet. And I didn't see any porridge, but. Yeah, we gotta be level two, that's what I thought. Okay, so level two we can do pancakes and bannock. Okay, that's cool. We got the great we got the ingredients for pancakes and all that right there. We just gotta level up cooking, so we're gonna shred Mr. Deer for as much as we can get. And we got teas to make if we can get any more than that. Let's see if we can see downstairs. Or if it's too dark. Mm, it's not too bad down here. Let's start on the far end, work our way out. Good for repairs. That's all empty. Lots of firewood down here. Anything in the root cellar? A couple of carrots. Another carrot. All right. Carrots at least can be eaten without cooking, so that's always a plus. Use that we're never going to be able to use probably and no matches didn't think we'd find them hopeful but didn't think we'd find them I'll take the bandage Don't know that we're gonna need that. Wires we don't need. Let's see how many potatoes we got in the sack. Very cool. Three of those. If we get some flame, we can get those cooked up. I know they take forever, but still. Don't see a flare. There's some newspaper. to make sure I'm checking all the nooks and crannies because a lot of times and I know a lot of us do this when we're doing these recordings and what have you you're, you're thinking about what you're saying and narrating and stuff and even though you think you're looking you don't always see everything and you miss stuff And then someone will comment about it, and you'll go back and you look at your video, and you go, yeah, you just passed right over it. You didn't even see it. Don't see anything there. Okay, so, well, the worst of this is not having fire. At least we have two toilets full of water. I don't even think I took this one, so let's... Take the water, seeing how we can't make any. Let's make sure we've got all our resources in, in front of us. So let's go ahead and hydrate. And let's go ahead and... Nah, let's not worry about eating. Let's save our food. So we know we can make that when we get to the level. 
here the storm is done. Let's take a peek outside and see how cold it is. Here, go out this door. Sometimes there's some stuff hiding over here. Wires. Nothing very good. We're still warm right here, but what are we out here? Extremely cold. Okay. Alright, we don't have a lot of time. I was thinking about running over to that car. Let's go do that. Let's go... Let's go over to the car here. I think we've got enough warmth to do this real quick and to run back inside. Oh, there's a book in here. We'll make good firewood out of that. And nothing in the glove box. Okay. Note. And that's it. Not that I expect anything to be back here, but... Now, I don't know how many times anybody has caught that one, but I just jumped in this back seat. I did not see it in the front seat. Hang on. You can see this. There's a hacksaw right there. I'm going to get in the front seat and see if I can see it. And if I just missed it. Okay, you can see it, but you cannot grab it. I am pulling down on the mouse. And to be quite honest with you, if you moved your head fast enough, you wouldn't see that. That is freaking amazing. I I don't know what possessed me to go back there. I, I do recall... I was watching DH Dunn, and he's doing this uh, this new thing, uh, Bloodlust, and he did the same thing. He jumped in the back seat of the car, and he goes, "I don't even know why I got back here," and I just instinctively was thinking that when I did that. But look at this, an eighty percent hacksaw. This is going to make life so awesome with these frozen carcasses because we're going to be able to go. And harvest stuff. Now we need to get back inside before we get cold. We just got cold. We gotta get inside. We don't want to lose any more health. Unbelievable. Alright, I'm gonna get upstairs before it gets much darker. I'll try to repair something. I'm blown away by this start. Okay, so what can we repair that would probably be the best? I think the Mackinac is definitely the item to try to repair and then we'll take a look and see what's going on with this but let's see if we can get this done before nightfall come on please 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 fantastic 82 all right so what is better here t-shirts got two that's three if we repair this at all, because that's at 25%, so that should be, these are probably going to be equal, because I, I look at it from the standpoint of at half percent, if it's full, it's probably going to be a four, this will probably be a four. So let's wear this, and then let's harvest this. So I think those are going to be of equal, equal warmth. Those are 81, 82, 77, 100% underwear, unbelievable. Those could use a little assistance, but I don't think we can do any more repairs. Let's look at what's in our inventory. Is there anything to harvest that we're not wearing? No. Okay, one other. We've got a bandage. Let's go ahead and craft these i think we can get away with this i'm just trying to get to the point where we go to the red sleeping i think that's as far as we can go all right so let's eat the granola and let's eat the chips and drink the water and now we're tired so let's sleep. I'm going to do for seven hours. We go through a lot of water. The last thing we need to do 
is get thirsty. So I'm going to do seven hours. I think that's about the max I can do. We don't get the sleeping bonus, so... Yes, okay, so... I'm going to go through a ton of water. And let's, where are we at? Yeah, we should be able to sleep maybe four more hours. There we go. It's going to be cold, so we don't necessarily want to run run them up just yet so i think let's go in here and shred these towels It'll only take 10 minutes and let's let's take a look at what clothing we have I think for the money I'm going to repair these. I'm hoping that this t-shirt, this is going to get replaced. These socks are important. This hat's important. I'm hoping we can find better shoes. Hopefully we can get up to the plane crash and find something. Maybe Signal Hill will have something. Um, if it warms up enough for us to move about here in the next bit... I'd love to head towards um, Thompson's Crossing and again watching DH Dunn he said that him and Peach B two other content creators if you're not familiar um, were talking about how they were having good success finding matches at the gas station so they are almost ready to call it as being guaranteed so it would be nice to be able to get over there and uh, get some fire because we definitely need to be able to cook soon and we definitely need the ability to um, to be able to see because we're going to have to get out of here that the whole point of this is is really much you know moving from place to place and just harvesting everything that we can get our hands on so All right, so we're basically down to carrots. So let's go ahead and eat a carrot. I'm going to see how warm or cold it is. It's not bad, but it is three. Let's go over here and see what's in here. Sometimes there's goodies in here. Oh, there's a battery. There's paint. I don't think I need that. for. But let's go see what Mr. Deer's got on it here. And I'm going to harvest that. And then we're going to run back inside. Come on. Now I know I talked about shredding it, but with it being so cold, we can't risk it. So... Okay. Set those outside. All right, so we got that done. We got that done. That's in pretty good shape. Maybe get one more turn out of this. Those are fleece, not the wool. So we're getting two out of that. We might be able to get a few more percentage points out of that. How much cloth do we have? We've got three. Let's eat our wimpy little carrot there. And let's give this a shot here. 
hopefully it will warm up and we can make a beeline. There we go, 2.5. So now our warmth bonus is almost 9 degrees. If we could just get a few more items, we're going to be rocking and rolling. And that is really the hard part about all of this, is getting enough warmth. I'm going to take all that with me because we're not going to be able to come back that I'm aware of. Ooh, almost forgot those. Remember taking a look at everything? There was more food right there. I almost missed it. I'm glad I looked again. Okay, let's see what the outside has to give us. I don't think we're going to have much choice but to keep moving. Okay. Take that. Alright, let's boogie towards the barn. Now, the, the thing that I'm noticing already is that we're only going down on the cold side by two arrows versus three. So, hopefully, we can take a nice steady walk, not burn our calories too quickly. And we can get over to the uh, the barn. I'm sorry, I like, started looking ahead there and got lost in my thought. So, is this going to be corpse, or... Cadaver. Probably cadaver. Alright. We are getting cold rather quickly. Painkillers, shoes, all right, we're going to run, we'll see how far we can get, I'm hoping we can reach the barn without having to start a fire, but if we have to start a fire, we'll pick one of these hay bales and make it happen. Right there. Can we make it? I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be worse is getting hungry. Just eat the carrot. Shoot, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I looked at that and I was thinking, oh, there, it's right there. Oh, you, no, dummy, it's the one that's red. That'd have been brilliant. Go over there and go, oh, why isn't this keeping me warm? Come on, we got to get inside. Come on, we can make this. Please be warm, please be warm, please be warm. Yes. Okay. I almost missed it. I saw that little bit of green sitting underneath that shelf. I'm still amazed with that hacksaw. I have not seen that from anybody's stream or anybody's videos yet. And not that I watch a ton of them, but as many as I do watch of other content creators, I haven't seen that one yet. So I think that was a unique find. And look what else we have. The hammer. I'm actually quite amazed with that. We got the hammer and the hacksaw in the same place. We get us some fire and a sleeping bag. We could be uh, 
We could be looking at a good run. If I can just keep myself from getting antsy and trying to move when it's cold or not starting fires when I should. I just I need to be smarter about moving around. You just it's such a different thought process. I think the biggest thing I got to remember is like there's no uh, there's no unsafe places to go. You know, Black Rock, yep, yeah, no problem. Desolation Point, or not Desolation Point, but Bleak Inlet, yep, yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's all accessible. There's no animals to chew on your limbs. The biggest the biggest issue is food. Food and, and and that. Oh, another goodie. Oh. Another piece of clothing. That's fantastic. Let's see if that helps with. I should probably put that on the outside, huh? That way, if storms ruin it will ruin that first all right i think we already have a whetstone if i already yeah we don't need two i doubt we're going to need one but there was that one time in dead world beautiful don't need it absolutely no need for that there's also no need for that either. Spray paint can be helpful sometimes, but not here. Searched, empty. Still no flare or fire source. Oh, we got hungry. Um, eat the dog food. We have a can opener. That'll give us another... Um, well, we don't need it. I was going to say it gives us another can, but we've already found a, everything we need there. Okay, so what time is it? It's midday. We just ate. Let's get a drink. You know what? Let's drink this soda. That'll be use for that let's climb in here Maybe a little warmer in here by chance no all right we did find another pair of shoes so let's see if those shoes are any better one way or the other so this is giving us 0.9 those are 0.6 so these are worthless i'm not going to worry about those shoes Drop you. There's no need to take any dead weight. How much cloth do we have? We've got one cloth. Okay. Uh, I don't see. I don't think there was anything to harvest over there. We don't want to forget. You know what? Grab that now. We don't want to forget it. I was going to say, when I found the stem, I got, uh, I got sidetracked. I was going to say that there was the one time that I managed to actually go to Desolation Point and forge a, uh, a knife, which was so helpful um, with the, you know, the whole harvesting thing. You know, you could harvest the skin, and, and that's so much faster. So the same thing with the hacksaw, you know, it's like now if we find a corpse, it's 15 minutes to hack out the meat. So even if the weather's really bad, we can at least grab it. Being stinky doesn't matter at all. I'll tell you what, let's see if we're, we're warm in here. We are. All right, I'm going to sleep for an hour because we're getting a little low on energy, but we need to get to Thompson's Crossing. And the warmer part of the day is coming. And we've warmed up some. 
Let's go see how bad we are outside. It's going to be a bit of a trip, and we're not as warm as I'd like to be, but I'll sleep one more hour if I need to. Here, let's get away from the building. Two down. Yeah, let's go warm up just a little bit more. I don't trust that. And let's hope the weather stays. That's our, going to be our biggest nemesis, I think. Here. Oops. No, we don't need to get in the glove box. All right, let's sleep for one more hour. That's the other mindset I have to remember. It's like uh, cold and hunger are the wor are my enemies. Walking around at night isn't such a big deal because you don't have any wolves to chase you. Aurora or otherwise. So as long as you're warm, which here we go. Perfect. We're getting one arrow down. We're going to be able to make it over there. As long as it doesn't blizzard on us, we should be okay. Right now, fire is our, our nemesis. We need to find some fire. So if we could find matches at the garage slash gas station would be awesome. And or... There's tools. I will take these with me. I think we've got enough weight carry. Yeah, we're still light. I'll take them with me. I don't know that I will take them into a new region. But it would be nice if we got um, some spare metal enough to repair the hacksaw. That would be uh, a nice little bonus. Just to get our as highly uh, repaired as possible. Let's see if we can't. There's no cattails over here, but there's a possibility over here. Let's go this way and see. Because even a couple could make the difference. And then we'll head up towards Thompson's. All right, no luck there, but worth looking at least. But we need to get going. The weather's already starting to get a little heavier. As long as we're not cold, that's all that matters. I'm going to try and just kind of auto walk our way over there, not eat through the calories. And as long as we're in the white, we're gaining a little bit of health. So right now, we're keeping our numbers up. And I got no complaints with where we started or how things ended. The, uh, the dues were paid for the Mackinac with the frostbite, so... So now we've got all kinds of different directions we could head. We could go towards Coastal Highway. And we could go to the dam and Mystery Lake. We could go to um, Timberwolf Mountain and Ash Canyon. The beautiful thing about Timberwolf Mountain and Ash Canyon is we've got a hacksaw now. We can go to the summit and exploit all the loot that's there not that there's a ton food becomes an issue over anything but that's where ash canyon comes in ash canyon would be a, a plethora of food so we're already kind of close by we could work our way to getting the um the backpack and then that would give us the ability to carry more stuff so there's definitely some thought to doing that it would take us towards the um the plane crash where we might be able to find some more uh filler clothing speaking of which did we we did not repair this so, 
soda. Beautiful. We'll take a book in case we get some fire. We may be needing to burn. Six minutes. Let's take it. I'd like to get over to the gas station to go f see if we can find the matches. And I know there's usually not much over here, but... So I think I'm going to skip these houses and all these vehicles for right now. And we're going to go right across the street and go get the gas station looted. Just because we need fire. We need to be making a whole bunch of water. We need to be cooking these deer meat. I hear the crows, so maybe there's another deer for us to chop up. And right now we're lucky because we are only a little cold. So that's a beautiful thing. If we could just get our clothing squared out just a little bit better, I'd say that we're off on a good start. Because we're going to be able to uh, stay warm, which keeps us outside and allows us to forage more the more we're outside. Got a little colder right there. Okay, beautiful thing. Don't need that. We're going to need this other than fire. Nothing, nothing. Loose potato just hanging out on the floor. Dump remover and done. I don't know this if this is where you guys were finding them, but if you're watching this, this is a custom interloper run, so there are matches to be found. That is a beautiful thing. So locked, locked, locked. Ah there. painkillers. Nothing there. If we find a pry bar, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah, look here. More goodies. Carrots. Potatoes. Potatoes. That's fantastic. Okay. Now we can start a fire. That is a beautiful thing. If we get lucky enough to find some lamp oil, I don't know if we have any sticks though. Did we, did we pick up any sticks? We did. We might have to gather a couple more. In fact, we may go back over there real quick. I'm gonna climb in these back seats from now on, by gosh. There's something on the dash for sure. Ooh, perfect. Can we eat it right away? Yes, just chomp that down. And tell you what, drink the soda, because that'll give us calories and hydration. All right. Let's go back here and grab a stick or two. Because if I can find some lamp oil before I light the fire, I will make a torch so that I can save the matches. We still got a little bit of daylight left. So let's see if we can take a peek here. Scrap metal, good. Maybe we can repair that a hacksaw. I would love to. Oh. Words cannot define the beautiful 
fine for coffee. Because we're going to make teas and coffee and do all that stuff. Because God, that can help us move around. Hello, toilet water. Blue and tasty. Bandage, we'll take that. Uh, we will come get that when we do some repairs, but I'm not going to grab it right yet. I'd like to thank you for all coming to this meeting. that's going to give us but let's take a look here it's a little better than the shirt and I guess we will take that everything is helpful hello chips another carrot I wonder if we could make venison stew, because we've got raw venison we haven't cooked. And we've got potatoes and carrots. I wonder if we could pull that off. I still think that the cooking mechanism should require you to have a knife, though. I know that you probably could break the potatoes up with your hands. And you could definitely do the carrots. Hey, quackers. Um, but I think that would be a, a little bit of a... Um, I think that would be a little bit of a help to, like, make the cooking mechanism a little harder. Hello, Matches. We're so happy to see you. Especially, like, on Interloper. And you can't, you know, you you can't cook certain things without having a knife. I mean, obviously you could make porridge, but if you're going to make a stew. Okay. I think that it is early enough. That we can go... And take a look next door. Because I'd like to come back here and maybe break down some boxes or find some more firewood. And um, kind of do some cooking. We could um, either make the stew or cook up the potatoes. I'd like to kind of get all this food ready and then make a decision on who, what, where, and how we're uh, moving about. I would love to go up to the signal. Uh, hill area because there tends to be some good loot there another potato thank you salt that I will drop off over at the kitchen the only problem with going over there is the distance it takes to travel from there back over to going to Timberwolf Mountain so if we're going to go to Timberwolf Mountain, it would be easier to tra just to traverse from here. And hello, Beans. Thank you for joining the party. That is good there. Another book. We're going to burn that. We're going to do a, a heck of a cooking session. We're going to drag a lot of water. No, we could use the river uh, to traverse in. Pick up the cattails along the way and see whether or not we can stay at Mountaineer's Hut. Or if we have to move on to Ash Canyon right away and then build up a stash of um, cattails that will give us enough food to be able to stay in um Timberwolf Mountain so that we can go to the summit and we can go to all the places we need to to uh, 
loot all those containers. Because the thing that's going to kick it, kick our butt more than anything. Ooh, work boots. I do believe that's going to be the best we can find. All right. Maybe we can do some repairing and whatnot. I didn't search the fridge. I could only imagine the smell. Okay. You know what? I'm getting kind of heavy here. Let's go drop some stuff off here real fast. We've got a ton of nonsense on us. We don't need to be carrying around the hammer and tools and everything here. We can be a lot more efficient. So let's drop that, drop that, drop this. Oh, wait, just drop it. Drop, drop, drop. I don't know why I dug through that sack of potatoes. I should have just brought the potatoes with me, the whole sack. It would have been easier. Yeah, we definitely have some cooking to do. We've got to cook all this stuff up. We need to cook the meat up. I don't think we're going to be able to do a stew, but if we can get enough cooking skill going and start making pancakes or bannock, that would be incredible. We need to make up our coffee and our teas. We need to get all this stuff going before we uh, get too far set off here. So, All right, let's go and check... This last residence here, before it gets any darker. Oh, actually, we're going to run out of energy here, aren't we? Let's go see what the crow's got, whether it's a deer or a carcass here, because sometimes there's both. I've seen both. And we may not be able to do much about it, but if we at least know what it is. And then we'll head back, and we'll... Get a fire going, and we'll uh, start doing. I don't need the feathers, and we'll start doing our process of. We'll sleep a little bit, and we'll cook a little bit. Let's go down by the boat dock here real quick. Oh, look, cattails, cool. And this is what I was talking about. I mean, we can traverse this little river here go towards um it's misty falls this is what i think it is we could work our way to misty falls sometimes you can find some good stuff in there too that might be worth going that way and then we can just work our way from there to the um rope that leads up to timberwolf mountain that just might be a Heck of a good idea here. But you know what? I just glanced over and realized that we are running up on our first hour. And that it's gone by so quickly. And I am amazed with the start we've had. It's going to be pitch black in here, isn't it? All right. Sorry about the blackness. I don't want to waste a match. Are there windows? Tables. There it is. Okay, do I don't have enough food here. Let's, let's eat this. And I'm gonna sleep for an hour.
Okay, and that's where we're going to hold it. So when we get back um, next week, we will probably have a pretty crazy cooking session. So episode two is going to be a lot of prepping uh, for our next destination, which I'm leaning towards Timberwolf Mountain. I think we have a good amount of food. We're pretty good on clothing. I would love to head up towards the plane crash. I know that there's another deer carcass a lot of times over by the cave. Um, sometimes there's even a second one over close to where Misty's Falls is. So I'd like to go to Misty's Falls. I'd like to head up to the plane crash and um, then to Timberwolf Mountain. And hopefully with the clothing that we have now and the additional clothing we might find and hopefully the food situation will be a good enough that when we get to Mountaineer's Hut, we can be warm and stay in there without a fire and we can decide whether we want to head to Ash Canyon right away and um, just pick up cattails like crazy, go get the, the backpack and all that and come back to Timberwolf. Or if we're going to stay at Timberwolf and try to loot that first. But we'll kind of make that decision. It's going to be based a lot on weather, condition, all that good stuff. So I thank you very much for watching. Um, Dead World 5 is off to a great start. I have good feelings about this one. So hopefully the vibes will continue next week when we get uh, into part two. And we'll go from there. But thank you again for watching. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Tommy, I don't know about this. It looks pretty steep. Will, it's fine. Safety guy said it's perfectly safe. Okay, rolling. Action. <laughs>